All right, folks, the deck is Quest Jade Shaman. The goal of the deck is to make large green men. We can do so with the help of newly released Primal Dungeoneer, which draws us nature spells. Since all of the spells in our deck are nature spells, it'll also hit some elementals, including Jade Spirit and Cage Match Custodian in order to draw the Jade Claws, which we can then just bring back to hand with the Rummaging Kobold. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Uh... I think most warriors should be fine. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not pirate, but especially, especially not pirate warrior with the uh, the mutt anus draw. In a normal infinite style shutter shaman, that would fetch grumble, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, that's what I think what a lot of people were eyeing initially. But I wanted to try this out. I haven't played Jade Shaman in a while, and uh, seems like it'd be fun. Well, okay. Might as well start punching. Looks like a slow control -y warrior, which is generally probably a good thing for me. What does the seven drop do? He sits in my hand for most of the game. Uh, probably should just go ahead and draw the other weapon. Hey, fine. What is the no card the deck tracker says he has? It's the two new cards. So it's uh, it's Anus and uh, the Dungeoneers. The deck tracker still hasn't updated yet. Uh, maybe there's an argument for playing that, just to get further into the quest. Okay. Probably just play the Lurker here to, um... Eh. Yeah. I want to double this up, even though it doesn't do anything. <laughs> they have a lot of cards in hand. They might be running Conditioning. And they also might be running Dirty Rat. So maybe it's just kind of good to uh, get cards out of their hand. <laughs> okay, it looks like Nazoth. So I want to hold... On the mud anus. I don't like that they're drawing more cards here because that makes it less likely that we hit the Nazoth, but what are you going to do? It looks like it's just uh, Nazoth, Dead Man's Hand Warrior. Maybe Frenzy, the small Frenzy package with the... Um... Sure. It's not a card. Um, small Frenzy package with the new turtle. Okay, so they're trying to avoid overdrawing there. I kind of want to double up the Rummaging Kobold, but that also feels kind of greedy. When I just hero power the, uh, the Mutt Anus next turn. I think you get one double Rummaging or Mutanus. I don't think you get both. Yeah, I think it would be too greedy to uh, expect both or to play for both. It's a minion that's out of their hand now, so it's pretty good for me.
Great synergy. Nom. Okay. Oh, look at that animation. Give me Nazoth. Yes! 6-9. Nice. Also, look at the size of that boy. Next turn, we have Hero Power, Aya, plus uh, Jade Claws. Oh, it's Reno. Oh my god, they had so many minions in hand. I got so lucky there. <laughs> What? The value? <laughs> what is happening? All right, I might need to play the uh, the dunk tank. I don't think I want to overload this turn. I think I'll just. Uh... Lothub here and add it to the pool. I could have gone Hero Power Jade Claws and I was kind of leaning towards that. But this just gives us the um, Jade Claws Aya as a follow up, unless we hit something real good off of the Smosh. Or, like, I might want to. I might want to play the Dungeoneer with the Hero Power as well, just because, like, I'm kind of light on cards, especially compared to the opponent. And that'll draw me into the Jade Spirits. Oh no, double heal. What is the goal of Bandersmosh on this deck? Uh, fun. Chat, the Octodad is a punt. There's no way I'm playing that card here. <laughs> I did say I wanted card draw. Guess I'm a coward. We'll play the Octodad next turn. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Well, that is certainly some armor. Armor, armor, likely use armor. Hey, we got some armor too. There we go. Wait, I missed both of the Jade Spirits on that? Kind of figured that would uh, be one of the options I chose, or Shadow Word of Horror. Oh my god. Uh, the problem with this is that I lose the game. That said, I've already passed on one fun thing, I'll do the second fun thing. Just give me a shutter walk. Oh no! <laughs> Ooh! Okay. Gab, thank you for the prime. Let me see, where did the message go? Hey Raffle, good to see you live. Glad you made it. Thank you so much for that uh, two months of support. What? I think our win condition is unironically like involving fatigue, which is why I was a little bit hesitant to play the, um, the Octodad. I don't think I've seen a brawl yet, have I? I'm running out of cards. What is this deck? It's a reform shaman, obviously. I ain't talking. This will be a mercy killing. I'm imagining this to be the brawl.
Was that? Oh, that was the second largest one. <laughs> this That's got to be a little concerning. I could steal that, but that seems kind of bad. What do they have to... Do they have... Okay. Unless they have double dead mans, I don't think it matters. Hey, I've got one of those too. Wait. Oh, no. Never mind. Uh... Do I just YOLO it? I still feel like that is the right play, just because... <laughs> hey, it goes right back. <laughs> uh, just because it like reduced the high impact hits that it could have gotten. Rattlegore! Uh, this game was incomplete without the Rattlegore, so I'm glad the opponent played it. Oh, I could have gotten Rattlegore there. Oh, what a game. For Doomhammer. I think I have to full mole for Lotheb in case it's uh, Mechathun. Ideally, it would be Reno. I think that's my uh, best Warlock matchup. I do have a good hand. Aside from a little bit of redundancy in the Jade Claws, but uh, next turn looks good with the Primal. It doesn't really tell us much, other than it's probably not um, Dark Lair. That is uh, not the hit I wanted. Still not a lot of information. Other than it's still a Warlock and I still need uh, Lothab potentially. They can't combo until turn um, six. I see. Yeah. Looks like uh, looks like Reno, which is, again, a good thing for me. I'm going to go ahead and take that off the board. I could have waited for the uh, Lurker next turn, but I think I just want to remove it while I can. Might be worth a devolve on that. I think it is. Oof. <laughs> At least it's not terribly aggressive. I don't know if I want to play the Claws here without Hero Powering. I could just bounce the Spirit. And then it's possible I just play the Lurker if I need to. Just overload ourselves into next week. Clean up some of the board to make room for more Yades. And play right into uh, Defile in the process. Your wish is my suggestion. Unity. Precision. I think we hear about the Dungeoneer next turn. Well, alright. 
future waits for no one but me. I'm out of elementals. Um, I'm just gonna trade down my board again, especially get rid of that one because defile. And our game is lagging. Look at me. I've got uh, Hero Power Mutanus next turn. The dream. Should I devolve that? No. Stick with the plan. Okay. Nah. I'm not going to kill it so that I can maybe devolve it next turn. But, like, um... Mount Gannis is more important to devolve anyway. And if they kill it themselves, I just have the Lurker. So which deals with the Void Walkers, which are bad for their um, cooldown pool. Next stop, step, draw Shutter and do it again. Oh, yeah. It basically, like, discards four cards from their hand. No. No, leave them alone. Oh, God. <laughs> Disgusting. We gave him too many stats, chat. Bird. Bleh. Uh, no, Mutanus does not trigger death rattle effects. We fed him too much, yeah. The Alexstrasza was uh, a little bit too big. Uh, that probably needs to be Zeph, or they have Reno in hand. Okay. Got Devolve, so I'm glad I kept that. Now that said, I also have the Shudder, but I think I go for Lethal, right? Easy. Oh god, it's gonna be a massacre. I'm sorry, Tiny Fin. Alright, so before the expansion release, Twitch chat was adamant about the fact that uh, Mutanus would be fantastic in Big Priest. So that's how I know it's bad in this matchup, and I'm gonna send it back. Devolve's good, though. I might need to coin the uh, the Primal Dungeoneer. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm getting punished for my own joke there because, like, you know what would be fantastic in this matchup is uh, Mutanus. So, let's go find that Mergly boy. Imagine eating a Raza or Reno. I think uh, Raza or, well, jeez. Raza's not an option, uh, so it's going to have to be the uh, spawn. Conan so far has been very good at drawing the. Hoo! Okay.
They have another uh, Zeph, right? Yeah. Oof. That doesn't help me. Move. Okay. I want to narrow down my board into uh, Psychic Scream. Alright. I need some... I need some help right now. It's good, but maybe not enough. Like, I just need to get to Lotheb or Mutanus. Well, they're clearing the board at least. Devolve that? Scream is going to feel awful. I don't think they're going to need a Scream, even. Uh... Elements guide me. I just don't want to give them card draw here. Maybe now they need a Scream. One of the cards is a spell. I wonder. I see. <laughs> there is little time. Six, seven, eight. Ignore that. The minions. The minions don't change the breakpoint, so it's the reason. If they have spawn, we just lose. Seems like a good sign. Oh! <laughs> Talk about a desperate prayer. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I think I just have to keep Loth up against Mage. The deck does well into slow control decks, but like slow control get decks get farmed by everything else in the metagame right now, so like nobody's playing them. Shatterwalk is unlikely to be relevant unless this is Reno Mage. I think I need to hold the weapon in case it's secret. 
But it looks like 8 p.m., which means we're gonna have to time the Lothab into um, Titanus, I guess. I don't know. I'm just swinging the weapon so that the rummaging is playable. Next turn is not a good low thub turn, but I might have to play it anyway, just because, like, um, it's the only card that does anything in my hand. Okay. Uh, low thub has suddenly become a good turn. We found a slow wish deck, but if it's running LPG, it has potential to pop off. Pretty. Pretty scarily. Well, Neophyte could be good or no. Um, I don't think it's good enough in this deck. I think Lothab just serves the same role, but does it better. Hmm. I kind of want to preserve my life total. Because there is a lot of burst in uh, a lot of versions of Pocket Galaxy. How do they get in for four mana here? Holy Nova? Is that good? Let's hold the weapon swing. They just valley trade over this. We have the dunk tank next turn. Oof. Okay. The way they're playing suggests that there is some uh, eventual burst coming at me. Why is the game so laggy right now? Uh, Shudder's honestly not even that good uh, in this spot. Eh, he has Lothab. Maybe he's not bad. I think I would rather increase my Jade count a little bit more, though. Especially with that. That's a pretty good draw. Uh, that would be the wrong place to attack. Okay, so that's Ice Block. Might have been worth a devolve there, but like they're already capable of playing the um, Pocket Galaxy anyway, right? So I don't think it does much for me. No? Yeah. Hog box. Lost a totem. I don't really want a totem. My board space is limiting right now. Like having a totem would board lock me if they freeze and... I don't want to take face damage. Um, again, there, it looks like they're setting up burst into the with the ice block up. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs> I 
We lose some board space here. Oh, okay, that was worth for sure. So this still ups the Jade count even if they don't get summoned. And uh, we should just have lethal. Because they can't play spells, so they... Like, a lot of their burst is going to be gone. You're in my hands okay. Uh, not sure what they're... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't quite solve the problem. At least we finally got to play the Shudder. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Keys404, Korbach, Noggleshire, Notorious HS, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Fanfix.